Welcome back to my channel. My name is China, and today I'm bringing you what I believe is a super cute, awesome um, Dollar Tree haul. I found a lot of, of my, um, what are they, what was on my wish list, and also some cool stuff that they've just put out. And I uh, was amazed, and I just wanted to share these with you. Hopefully, you'll be amazed at the products that I'm going to show you today. Um, let's talk also about the fall giveaway the winner came forward yay and um so i will be mailing that out along with the um the calendar for the uh, last week's winner the calendar winner um i'll be mailing those out this week i've already been in contact with both winners so um they are aware of that but the good news is that now we can move on to the next giveaway that i have which i will be announcing at the end of the video and what i like about this one is it's just in time for the christmas holiday so um, it would make a really great gift uh, for friends, family members, but we'll, I'll bring that up at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Okay, so now let's dive right into all the cool stuff that I have stacked like right here in front of me. Um, can't wait to share. Okay, so check this out. This little, little cute little bucket here, what they're calling a little bucket, a little monkey bucket, complete with a little swirly tail. Look how cute this is. And check out that adorable face. This is what I think of when I came across this is obviously like a little monkey themed birthday party for, you know, little kids. So it could be something that you would put, you know, the party favors in and you could get one for each of your party goers, you know, put it at their seat. And maybe you have like a little jungle theme with yellow and green and have this at each of their play settings. Um, and you could put like um, Laffy Taffy, the banana Laffy Taffy, yellow candy. Um, I would even go to far as making it like centerpieces, like putting styrofoam in here, um, some yellow tissue paper or green, yellow to represent bananas or green to represent like jungle leaves and um, little skewers, the little wooden skewers. And you could adhere yellow candy, like I said, you know, Laffy Taffy, Butterfinger, um, because they come in those yellow wrappers and it almost looks like bananas. So that's something that I would do and maybe each party goer would get one. These are so cute at a dollar would make it so affordable to put together the cutest little birthday party or even a baby shower. Cause look at this little face, a little baby monkey, so adorable. I have no kiddos, no little children. I have some grown boys, they're, they're adults now. But when I see this kind of stuff, it just takes me back to when they were little and it's just so irresistible to buy. Like I have absolutely no need for it but it's so cute that I bought it. And that's what Dollar Tree does to me. It's like my, what do you call it? Retail therapy. And it's one of those places where you can afford to go a little bit nutty in there and like go on a spending spree. Cause any other store, you know, if you went to the mall, you went to, you know, a clothing store, to a shoe store, to, you know, like an at home decor store, you can't afford to get too crazy in there, or at least the average person can't. But at Dollar Tree, you feel like a big baller. You start throwing your money around. And you know, you get that retail therapy and that's why I love this store. Okay, so this was on my wish list, guys. This is so beautiful. And it just, it you know, it's the quintessential Christmas classic look, this gorgeous box and it says the North Pole Express. And I'm sure you guys have seen this. Um, so it's nothing new that I'm presenting, but I just wanna show you how stunning this box is, how you have like this matte, beautiful red lining the box is in a matte finish, which I like. I hate when things are like overly shiny, overly glittery. Not that that's a bad thing, but for my personal taste, I do prefer things to be a little bit more matte, but it does have some shine for those of you who like those kind of things where you have the accents of the North Pole and this metallic and even the accents on the train. And I just try to think of what I would place in here. Um, obviously you can put it in as decor, you know, work it into your decor, whether it be in your office or your home but you can also use this for gift giving and bringing your gift giving um 
skills up to another level because of course you could put in like we've talked about you know jewelry and makeup and candies and and baked goods and um cologne watches can you imagine the possibilities maybe you know someone that you know likes to collect trains or or train sets or something you could even put like one of those train pieces in here um or maybe you plan on going on a train trip like a trip that involves a train maybe you're going to be seeing europe or um there's just so many different things and you could put your travel itinerary you could print it out and put things that tie into that theme um in this little box which we did with my parents um several years back we sent our my parents to new york you know just to give them a little vacation to get them away from it all and so we're like you know what let's send them to new york um, we think they would like it there so we printed out things and also went and bought things like a big apple um a little uh, yellow cab and different little things to drop hints and we put it in a really pretty wrap box and at the very bottom of the box i printed out their airline tickets and their hotel the details of their hotel so they had to dig through the box in order to you know kind of, it was almost like little clues and so that's something you could do with this if you guys plan on going on a trip and it happens to involve a train which would be super awesome you could even put little clues in here and that could be like almost like a gift you know in lieu of giving somebody a physical item you know you're giving a, a trip for the holidays which if you are adopt me and please take me with you i promise i'll be on my best behavior but that's just a little thought so something to share and i really wanted that box and i'm glad i got my hands on it and it does come in a variety of sizes okay so speaking of boxes they also had this beauty here with this beautiful black ribbon um i just love the simplicity of this it's totally not overdone it's understated and yet it's so impactful and you can use this as a base to put a christmas tree in you could put other florals in here make an arrangement put it on your fireplace place it on your table as a set as part of a centerpiece this also comes in a variety of sizes and patterns love the black and white uh, checkered print here and on this side you have the metallic with the um, pine tree and it says merry and bright now if you're not into the metallic and you want a more matte look more subdued then the opposite side is doesn't have the metallic but it has the exact same print and this can also be you know same thing you could put a styrofoam in here skewers and make a really pretty candy bouquet a floral bouquet um you can even use this to store like your if you do a table spread you do a you know like a, a christmas style breakfast you can use this to hold like your napkins and another one can hold the um plastic wear the dinner wear um, however you want to display it and this could be part of a display so you do you you can use it for all different kind of stuff you don't have to use it for um you know just for decoration there's other purposes and to give gifts in which is a really good idea and they're so pretty and they can be used year after year after year because they're well made okay so i came across this and it does come in two different patterns um one of them having ornaments but i picked up this one for the simple fact that it has a deer and if you've seen my decor downstairs we kind of have like a little bit of a cabin theme going on and so this to me ties into that look and since i don't plan on doing traditional colors in my christmas decor we are going to be sticking with you know hues of blue and and white and gold and stuff like that this goes perfectly but this can also work for all different types of decor including your traditional colors so it's got like this whitewashed wooden look and then almost like a burlap look to it so it's got this layered look although it's not layered only the framing is the um, only layer that it has you have this jute twine at the um, top and just look at how gorgeous this is. I don't remember what the one with the ornament, it's the same style only that it has ornaments and it had a different quote. This one of course says peace on earth. Um, but what I plan to do to doll this up a little bit is put maybe some pine greenery, like hot glue it on here with some pine cones up here at the top and maybe a, a gorgeous ribbon, maybe even that black and white checkered uh, print that we just looked at or you know some kind of beautiful ri wired ribbon here at the top layered with some greenery and some little pine cones and maybe some white kind of berry and just kind of up the look of this little frame i'm not planning to hang it gonna put it in the built-in bookshelves of my living room or possibly 
over the fireplace and I think this would make for a really great piece. Very easy to um, alter and just, you know, it looks good just on its own, but if you alter it a little bit, you can, you know, make it look all the better. And at a dollar, this is amazing for only a dollar and competes with things that you would pick up at a place like Hobby Lobby or, or Walmart or at home or wherever it is you buy your Christmas decor. Okay, this is a wish list item. So happy to have found it. And I cannot wait to make up our, you know, like our coffee, hot cocoa bar in our kitchen. And it is this cute, adorable mug. So it says, let's get cozy. And what I totally love about it is it's in the hue of blues. And so it goes with my decor downstairs. You know, not everything has to be red and green. Um, there are those who, you know, lean toward other colors. Um, and this is what I love about this. Now, this um, cup, this mug here is so pretty that you could easily convert it into a candle. And there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to do that, where you can even make it look like it has marshmallows in there. And you can use elements from the Dollar Tree to create that look. Um, I'm gonna use it as part of the setup in our kitchen. Um, you know, since we've redecorated and it kind of has like a little ski um, cabin kind of look down there. I'm kind of wanting to put together a really pretty, um, what is that, like a cocoa bar, a coffee bar. And I'm going to introduce these mugs to that look. And I think they're so pretty. They're, they're pretty enough to make into like a gift set. And if you're like me and you like to put together gift baskets, there's many, many things that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree to make a gorgeous fabulous gift basket and you don't have to spend a lot of money but it's going to look like you did and this is a way to do it with this spectacular mug look how pretty that is absolutely gorgeous and so yes i was on the hunt for it and so happy i found it picked up several of those okay staying in line with christmas cards so let's talk about cards um you guys know that i love green cards i try to show them very often only because they have the most beautiful selection of greeting cards at the Dollar Tree and it's just an inexpensive way to you know and it requires a personal touch there's something about getting a text versus getting a car in the mail handwritten where someone has gone through the trouble of picking it out writing something to you and then putting it in the mailbox and going through all that trouble there's more detail involved so I think it's just that much more personal to send out greeting cards and there's no better place to get them than at the Dollar Tree. Why? Because they're gorgeous. They rival things that you can pick up, cards that you could pick up at other stores for much more money, and here's the proof. So we have, this is a six deluxe Christmas cards, Christmas cards set. So you get three, um, no, I'm sorry, six premium card stock um, greeting cards, and they're 3D embellishments, so they're layered, and it even has glitter, and they come with their little envelopes. And let me see if I can open this up for you without taking a long time. Y'all, it's gonna take too long. So I apologize for that. I should have opened it prior to filming, but here's the back of it. So it says, all is calm and all is bright, like the lyrics of the song. And this is layered. So those trees are layered in front of this sky right here. And they're just so pretty. And you could totally see, or I could, this card costing like $2.99 or three something. Um, and yet it's only a dollar and you're getting six of them for a dollar. So you could send these out to your friends and family and they're just so pretty. And it doesn't stop there because I found, I like these cause they go with my color scheme, but then I also like this one and it's just a simple word of joy. And here it says, may your holiday season be full of joy and peace. So that's what the inside of the card says. I love the color scheme where you have this really pretty beigey color um, in the background, and then you have these gorgeous snowflakes, the adorable cardinal, the snowman, and the uh, really pretty scarf that he's wearing. Look how beautiful this card is. In this situation, you're getting 12. So you're getting 12 and then six. So you have 18 greeting cards for $2, where you would literally pay probably about three or four bucks for one greeting card for one person. Here you can send out 18 and you just go buy you a little roll of stamps and you've made someone's day. It's just, it's just amazing when you get a greeting card in the mail. I've gotten a few of them from you guys and I totally love receiving them and I really appreciate when you guys send them out to me. Okay, the greeting card fabulousness, fabulousness does not stop there. It, it's only getting better. Wait till you see these. These are their handmade cards. 
boom check this one out isn't it absolutely stunning 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 for those of you who love the whole gingerbread aesthetic for christmas this card is there and then some so we have happy holidays you have this little banner which is layered i don't know if it's coming across i'm going to try to show you guys this is layered and you have the little uh what is a gingerbread house with all the candy the gumdrops the lollipops it's all there there's even like a little rhinestone here and then you have a little gingerbread boy and a gingerbread girl and the cute little look how cute this is when i picked this up i totally thought of my mom only because she's she loves gingerbreads gingerbread houses gingerbread men women for christmas she likes to decorate with that and this is totally up her alley this is so her and then you have the inside what does it say hoping that your holidays are extra sweet in every way and they have this little detailing with the candy and of course a red envelope to match and it is by um Greenbrier or voila which is an in-store brand from dollar tree and they didn't stop there they put the little gingerbread man in the back which is so cute and i can't wait to send this out to somebody it's so pretty gorgeous oh my god i love it and then they did this this is so pretty i i'm i'm in awe of what they put together this year this one says merry christmas you have a christmas tree here and then you have this beautiful garland look how pretty this is and this is actually glued on here if you guys can see just so pretty and it goes with my whole color scheme my aesthetic and my favorite color is blue so i just gravitate toward that and i like the little detailing of the ornaments the glitter the sky and even this pretty star up here and i like that the card is green versus red because it totally matches the look here and of course on the back they put their little forest of pine trees here stunning beautiful and i mean if this were like you know if this was a hallmark card i would pay 2.99 for or 3.99 for because it, it's the details and how the card is layered is three-dimensional the artwork it's it's well worth the 2.99 or the 3.99 and if i had gone to the store i'd have no problem paying that amount of money but it's a dollar so i mean you why pick up one card at that price when you get like three or four of them um this one says may the beauty of the season make your spirits bright have a happy a very happy holiday and with these beautiful cards i absolutely will thank you dollar tree look how pretty okay it gets better lovers of the mason jars and that whole kind of farmhouse country aesthetic dollar tree went and did this is this not absolutely gorgeous the the lid has a metal look to it look at that and you see where it reflects the light you have the twine bow uh, or the jute twine the little greenery also layered on here and then this gorgeous mason jar this element here this little group of greener is layered on here and the buffalo checker print which is very popular i would be like tickled tickled to receive this kind of card in the mail um and would think that whoever sent it to me paid three or four dollars for it when our secret is that we paid a dollar um now for us insiders us insiders that shop at the dollar tree we know this card costs a dollar but i also know that it's you could easily pay much more for it. it's so beautiful now in this case i love that they did the green because it's you know it's just all the little elements together here you get the little green envelope and in the back they did the little detailing of the greenery with the holly and it says may the beauty of the season touch your heart and warm your home yes 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 and yes stunning beautiful get to dollar tree as soon as you can because these beautiful cards are going to be flying off the shelves and there's you know people that live out of town you may not be able to see them but you still want to know they're your thoughts and your heart and what better way than to buy a really pretty green card and send it their way okay let's stick in with christmas i'm trying to kind of have everything organized because usually i'm just kind of like all over the place so i try to organize it for you guys before i started filming let's talk about this adorable little lunchbox and i don't know if you guys remember i remember um when i was in school you know you could eat at school you know when i was in elementary you know obviously I had the little meals but it was something about taking your lunch that was just i don't know kind of cooler or something so i beg mom and dad to um buy us a little lunch pails and i remember 
my first one was Minnie Mouse, I think, and it was blue and it had Minnie Mouse on it. Um, and we, you know, she would pack our lunch and then I'd always wind up wanting what they were serving at the cafeteria that day more than whatever was packed for me. So, but I would be begging my parents, oh, buy me the little lunch pail. And um, it's, it's a chore. It's a big chore to have to put this little meal together every day. Um, but anywho, that's what this kind of reminded me of. But look at the, again with the gingerbread. If you're a fan of that whole aesthetic, they have all kind of stuff with gingerbread men on them. Love the little cookies here. So cute, the mug, and of course some marshmallows. The little gingerbread man, and it has its little handle. This, this is so adorable. And you know, again, for gift giving, decorating, whatever you can possibly think of to do with this little pit. Look at it, cute. And it's just being named a container, but to me, I think of a little, like a little lunch box, a little lunch box. Look at that. Here's the side of it, guys. How pretty, and this gorgeous. And imagine the things that you could put in here, all the little cute stuff that you could stick in here if you're doing a Christmas party and you want to have something to send home with your party attendees. You want to have a little party favors. These are only a dollar. You could bake up a really pretty cookie, you know, those really nice ones that you get at, at those specialty bakery stores and each cookie is like four dollars or something and place one in, maybe you can do it at home. I don't know if you're talented like that. I cannot do that at all. You know, I'll go buy one and, well, I won't even claim I did it, but uh, you know that you know what the ones I'm talking about. Buy something like that. You have your guests over. These little things are only a dollar um, and everyone gets to take home, take home one of these cute little things with them. And these are so cute. And at a dollar, it would be easy to put together and not expensive to throw a really awesome Christmas party. Okay guys, I'm gonna put the video on pause. I'm gonna bring a few more things into the shot and then we're gonna move on to the giveaway announcement. Be right back. Okay guys, and I am back. Let's talk about some more Christmas stuff. Um, obviously with the season coming up, you wanna snatch all those cute little things up, the decor, the gift, I gift items, because before you know it, they'll be flying off the shelves. You won't be able to get your hands on them. And so I came across these. Now I'm not usually a fan of this material um, for like Christmas trees or decor, but I thought these were so cute. And of course, um, being that, you know, the decor downstairs is in different hues of blues and kind of like, um, we're going for more like a wintry look, a cabin kind of look. I saw these and I immediately thought of that. And I don't know if I'm gonna be adding stuff to this. Like you could easily layer things on here and, um, you know, bring them up another notch, you know, put some little ornaments on here or glue them on here, a little topper, lights, or I could maybe leave them as is. I picked up three. I thought of even like making them like in tiers, like maybe putting some kind of base to have one, you know, at a lower level, a higher level, maybe a medium level. So I picked up three and that was, those were my thoughts when um, I put them in my cart. Um, and so right now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm thinking of putting them either adjacent to the fireplace or in front of the fireplace because our fireplace kind of has like a ledge on it. And I think this would look cute um, there or maybe even the, no, I can't do the mantle because the TV's there. But yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Now these do come in a variety of colors, you know, green and red. Um, I think they even have some Buffalo checkered print patterns if I'm not mistaken, but I liked this kind of like wintry ice blue color and so i picked them up so here's there's three of them um so i wanted to share those with you so if you like you know not necessarily like your traditional colors and you want to go with other color schemes they do have other colors as well um and i want to say i've even seen pink but correct me if i'm wrong I'm not sure about that okay and this is just like a little everyday nothing too exciting but in case you are not aware they do sell shoelaces here um, and it even gives you the sizes um, in the back of the length that you would need. Um, this comes with six pairs. Um, and what I was gonna do with this is I bought um, a little wooden shape um, that has like a um, ice skate on it. And I wanted to make it look like it has laces. And so I'm gonna like glue gun little portions of this to that wooden shape ice skate that I picked up at the Dollar Tree to give it a three dimensional look. Um, and to make it look like it has laces on the ice skates. So I'm gonna test it out before I actually glue it on because I'm not really sure about it. Um, but that's the idea that popped into my head. Now, um, 
in either case i'll have some extra ones for you know for the shoes that we have at home you know after a while the laces look kind of like ugh, kind of like eh, like not as cute kind of dingy and so that can like you know freshen up the look of the tennis shoe for whatever is left over okay so also and if you leave shoelaces now you can pick them up at the dollar tree um, I'm sure they pick them, uh, they carry them all the time. I just happened to come across them and notice them because I was on the lookout for laces for the craft that I have in mind. All right, let's talk about stickers and uh, the Dollar Tree. 250, or it says over 250 stickers. And they are so, so, so cute. Check these out, little food ones. So you have like the little toast or a slice of bread. This one says chill and they're oh my god i had to pick them up um let's see what else they have here look at the little ice cream cones down here at the bottom and who who doesn't like stickers they're just so cute and you're getting over 250 for oh my god look at this how adore look how adorable they are the little coca-cola bottle that is so cute the little mcdonald i said mcdonald's fries it looks like mcdonald's fries this is so cute and this would make perfect stocking stuffers, gifts for like um, care packages. If you make beautiful gift baskets, like a teenager tween gift basket, and you put this in there, I, oh my God, I would be so happy to receive. Look at that, that ice cream, the popsicle. So, oh my God, love, 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 love. Sushi, they even have sushi. They've thought of it all. 250 stickers for a dollar. And even the little book it comes in is cute 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 little gift and look pick it up because it's so cute and who who wouldn't like it it's so cute then i saw this these are kind of like um like christian books it's called little blessings the lord is good to all and what made me buy this book because i'm walking by obviously because you know one it has a positive message but what really stopped me dead in my tracks was this little tiny mouse up here he is so cute. And these books are, you know, short, simplified, so they're perfect for young readers if you like to read them at, to them at night. It's nothing that's gonna be drawn out for like hours. Look at this rabbit and the little clothesline. Is this not the cute, and the turtle, oh my God, adorable. And they're hard pages. I don't know if you can tell that these pages are hard. So again, perfect for young little readers. It's, you know, sending a positive Christian message, something you want to read to them. It's not going to take forever. It's a collection of four books. So here are the other three. Um, I picked up this one because I thought it was so cute. And again, if you're making a little gift set, this is a perfect little throw in. Um, or like I said, care pack, maybe your grandkids live out of state. You want to put something together for them. Um, you're setting a care package from grandma and grandpa. It'd be really cute to throw that in there. Okay, and of course journals, you know, I always pick up their journals, spiral bound, good vibes, beautiful rainbows, hearts, and the little fluffy clouds, and even they even have little lightning bolts in there. Just so pretty. Pages are lined, you're getting 100 pages, would make a gorgeous part of a gift set uh, in a gift basket. Can you imagine if you throw things in, they're all kind of tying into this whole vibe, this whole aesthetic, this color scheme. How pretty, and you could literally build the most awesome gift basket using all Dollar Tree ba uh, products, basket included, um, for like 10, 15, 20 bucks. And you'll have the most awesome gift. Back to reading cards, y'all. Check this beauty out. So it says, life is beautiful, yours in particular. So let me see if we can get a close up of this. Look how pretty this is. Now this is a Hallmark card and these are two for a dollar and look at that print and how the metallic design in there how it reflects so pretty color scheme is beautiful and you've got this whole little saying in here which i'm not going to read out um, but this is beautiful and then this is a little envelope it comes with pretty 50 cents and then um, if you're forgetful about birthdays sometimes like i am belated birthday wishes look at the botanical print on here spectacular gorgeous look at that the font the, the word beautiful look at this or birthday really pretty font look at that font it's absolutely amazing look 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 so pretty love it you have kind of like a little bit of a paisley print in there and then the inside of the card so you know look to the dollar tree to pick up these gorgeous cards and then um let's look at the last item that i'm going to show 
video is starting to run really long. It's this beautiful roll of wrapping paper. It has a gorgeous print of snowflakes. I picked it up because I like the blue. Uh, I'm a little bit obsessed. And it's 30 square feet or 3.33 feet by three yards of wrapping paper. So I picked this one up. Um, loved the whole aesthetic here. Let me drop it on the floor rather than shake the camera. And then I also picked this one up with the deers, um, the deer heads here. Although it looks like mounted deer heads is kind of what I'm thinking of. But I picked it up because again, it matches the aesthetic we have downstairs. Really pretty. And this one is um, 2.5 feet by 5.33 yards. So this one is longer, but it's a little bit shorter, not as wide. Okay guys, now let's talk about the giveaway. I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff that are in there and what you need to do if you wanna participate in the contest. Just a moment. Okay, so I'm super excited to show this one to you only because when I was a kid, um, I always was given like a lot of dolls and you know, like baby dolls and stuff like that, Barbie dolls. That was really, really never my thing. But you know, my mom had good intentions is what she liked and she's a big fan of the dolls and Barbie dolls and stuff like that. So those are the kind of things that I got. I would have, you know, I was like a very big on like art. Art, very creative you know, coloring and stuff like that. And so when I put this together, this is exactly what I was thinking of, of like what I would like to receive as a kid, um, because not everybody's into dolls, not everybody's into little pots and pans and food and stuff like that. And so this is like universal, it could be given to a boy or a girl. So whether you have, even if you don't have children, if you have children, this would be a great gift to give them. Um, and it could be spread over several kids because there's a lot of stuff in this gift set. Or if you don't have children, you have grandkids, um, you know, maybe you have grandkids, nieces, nephews, your friend has children, your neighbor who's your friend has kids. So even if you don't have kids yourself, this still is a really cool thing to win only because you could have someone to give it to and the holidays are coming up. All right. So let's stop. Well, rather me stop going on about it. Let's show you what it comes with. So this is kind of like a Crayola crayon school theme gift. All right, so school is still in session, and even if they're out for winter break, you know, there's kids that love to play school or love crafts. So we have these 63-piece jot stickers that are in this, like, primary color uh, school theme, and look how pretty they are. A little raccoon here, porcupine or hedgehog, one of the two. Look at the owl. It's just so cute. Look at these stickers. 63 of them from Jot, and you got the alphabet here. Okay, other item. I've been putting this together for a while. These are little books. Now the pages are blank. You're getting four books. So like I said, this could be spread over several kids. If you have several kids or grandkids or nieces and nephews, you want to spread them out too. So this is um, Imagine, what does it say? Yeah, Imagine, Create, Inspire. And they're blank pages that they could either draw, um, write stories in, um, color, whatever they want to do with them. They're little books that come in here, four, four piece set, and they all look the same. Okay. This is so cute. This is ages three to five, three. Um, this is a pre-K math activity book. And look how cute these little characters are on here. And it's just, you know, math activity. So it's kind of like learning, but at the same time, it's super fun because they have the, all the cute little pictures in here. And I, I was a kid, I love to play. I love to play school. Okay, so this one's five to seven. Word families, same thing, little pictures. Construction paper by the brand Crayola. We have 10 different colors, 30 sheets. We have this color forms that's gonna be in here with Mr. Potato Head. And it says it's over 70 color forms. And um, let's see, three background scenes. So that's gonna be included in there. Highlights, who remembers this from being a kid? Now there used to be a little highlights magazine. We got the subscription sent to our house, but this one's, um, where you find stuff. It's got little activities in there, but that brand nonetheless. Another activity book with alphabets. Another activity book, Trace and Write. And then we have these uh, smell, uh, what do they call? Scenty corn, scented markers. And you have that Roy G. Biv colors. Clay, also with all these wonderful colors. You have a pencil bag or a crown bag or whatever you want to put in here. And we have the Crayola Crown brand 3D wooden toy. That's what this looks like. You have a paint set, 
Guys, this would be an awesome, awesome gift to win. So you have watercolor paint set, a puzzle, 500 piece. This one you can do with your family or as a family. Crayola crayon bandages in the shape of crayons. And um, this one is, what is it called? Edition Math Skills Flashcards. Play School brand crayons. Pack of crayons. And here you're getting 16. All right. So in order to be placed in the contest, 18 years of age or older, you have to be a subscriber. You have to reside in the United States. And what I would like to know is, um, what was your favorite TV show growing up? Okay, so, or what was your favorite TV show, period? Like, it doesn't have to be when you're growing up. Mine right now that I've seen is one called Rui's World Love in the Palace. It's actually filmed in China and it's completely in Mandarin. And so I have to read it with subtitles. It's super, super, super good. If you like, like, period, romance, um, and it is loosely based on history or real events and so if you're into that i'm gonna link it down below it's so good and it can be viewed on youtube so anybody can watch it it's free um there are 87 episodes and again it's in mandarin so there are subtitles but to date it's my favorite thing that i've ever seen on tv um again it's draw it's drama romance loosely based on real events and it's historical and so if you like that kind of stuff then you'll definitely definitely like this my mom turned me on to it and now it's become like my favorite thing that I've ever seen. So I would like to hear what your favorite TV show is. If you'll put that down in the comments and you'll get entered into the contest and you'll need to do that by um, today is, what is today? Wednesday. So if you can do it by Tuesday of next week, um, that's the deadline. I'll put the date right here. Tuesday is the deadline. I'll get you entered into the contest and then I'll follow up with the drawing. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, I hope you'll subscribe so that way you can participate in all the fun and all the, um, the videos and all the giveaways. Totally uh, love spending time with you guys. Hope to catch you at the Dollar Tree. See you guys next time. Bye.